Thick brush like this, prime tick habitat, and this year is expected to be a banner year for the biting insect. Now, ticks are expected to continue their spread across Ontario this year, and that has everyone from health officials to vets worried about the spread of Lyme disease. Oftentimes, they actually can feel like a little wart. Lexi here may think she's getting a massage, but in reality, this pooch is getting manhandled for bugs, specifically the eight-legged blood-feeding tick. Oftentimes, by the time we actually see the ticks, it can be too late. Ticks have definitely increased this year. Last year, we saw about 307. This year, we've already seen 413. So you can see that there's quite an exponential difference there. And the kind of tick that bites dogs are seen in the entomology world is a kind of canary in the coal mine for another species, the black-legged variety, also known as the tick that can carry Lyme disease. In general, for Ontario, we are seeing an increasing number of black-legged ticks. While this wet, cool spring is considered prime tick weather, experts at Public Health Ontario say the real reason for the explosion in the bloodsuckers is climate change. When it used to be really, really cold, it would take so long for them to get through their life cycle and feed that they wouldn't get a foothold in that location. However, now, depending on those certain pockets, we can actually see, you know, going from areas where we never knew the black-legged ticks to exist and actually seeing them established into locations and some locations. Like the Toronto Islands and the Rouge Valley, both places where lime-carrying ticks have been found in the past. I think the environmental and climate conditions are uh, getting more favorable for the ticks. This York University professor leading a team that produced the first national map for black-legged ticks. He says the tick population will grow exponentially in the coming years in many parts of Ontario. But in some of the more northern part, the environment condition is getting more and more fit for the tick to be established. Giving them a better chance to establish on you or your dog this summer. Every month we're seeing more and more ticks because the warmer it gets, the more prevalent they are. Now, Toronto Public Health would not provide any numbers today on the, the number of confirmed cases of Lyme uh, disease so far this year. But coming up, we'll talk about the other virus that people are considered are concerned about when it comes to ticks, and that's the Powassan virus and the chances of it actually being a problem here officials are sounding the alarm on ticks that live in heavy wooded areas like this one. Experts are predicting that'll be a pretty bad year for ticks this year in Ontario. Veterinarians in the city are already seeing a high number of dogs coming into clinics, the city suffering from ticks. The big concern, of course, is Lyme disease. Public Health Ontario says it's still a few weeks away from releasing its Lyme disease risk areas map. But all indications say this will be a banner year for ticks across the province. Now, south of the border, there is serious concern about another tick-borne disease that is more serious than Lyme disease, the potentially deadly Powassan virus. More than 20 cases have been reported in Minnesota, Minnesota over the last decade, but officials in Ontario are not worried about it coming north. So Powassan was actually discovered in Powassan, Ontario in the 1950s. However, we don't really ever see many cases or many ticks positive for it. Um, the tick that mainly transmitted is called sometimes the groundhog tick or the squirrel tick, and that's what they primarily bite. So people don't, they don't really bite people, and they're usually in the burrows and nests, so we don't really have much contact with them. So we don't see a lot of it in Ontario. And even in the U.S., they don't have a large number of cases. They're just suggesting that they might see higher numbers, but we have not seen that as the case yet. But we are monitoring the ticks and testing them. Right. Any chance do you think we'll see higher numbers this year then of the Powassan virus? It's always hard to tell, but you know, in general trends, we have not seen very high numbers, very small percentages, if less than 1% of the ticks come positive for that. So there's always a possibility, but not the bigger concern would be Lyme disease. Now, when it comes to Lyme disease, uh, the Rouge Valley and the Toronto Islands will likely be the hot spots in Toronto this year. And experts say you should probably take precautions if you're you're going into wooded areas, and that is wear long, uh, light-colored clothing, and of course use bug spray that has DEET in it.